If you never heard about a Pure Rev before, I'm sure that you will love it after seeing this video because this is an awesome tool for any kind of digital artist, Photoshop artist, retoucher, 3D artist, whatever you're doing creatively, this is an awesome tool for you. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun video. Pure Ref is an amazing piece of software that will help you to gather all your sketches, your inspiration, to brainstorm, to collect all of uh, reference images in one place instead of putting them in separate folders and so on and so forth and all that for free and with such an ease of use. So to get a Pure Ref, you just need to go to pureref.com, click on Get Pure Ref and choose the platform you want. Also select the amount of money you want to contribute to the authors of the software and just pay it with PayPal or credit card. But if you want to get it completely for free, just set the custom amount to zero and you will see it's completely free. You just need to download it, install it and that's it. And then you will get this window right here that is currently empty. It says there is nothing here, drop some images to get started. There are several ways how we can populate this with an images. We can just drag and drop images here. We can simply copy and paste images here or we can directly drag and drop from a web browser, which is awesome. So I will just go to my folder, just drag and drop images here in a matter of two seconds, it will populate this with a bunch of images. And this is an awesome tool for me. It's a game changer. I use it for a while now. This software is up there for several years. And it's awesome tool because you can gather all your images for your project in one place, all your ideas all your sketches or reference images for some photo manipulation or 3D project or some retouching or whatever, some inspirational images all here. And also what is really cool is that you don't need to uh, group all your images to hold them in your computer in one folder. And sometimes if you have a maybe bigger project, you want to separate images in several different folders, categorize them differently. Now you can do everything just in one place, much visually pleasing and uh, you will be much faster uh, browsing through the images and use them for reference or idea or whatever you want. Let me show you that really quickly. So here, we loaded uh, the bunch of images from my folder and we can zoom in and see every single image in a full resolution. As you can see, we can just go like that or we can unzoom as much as we want and populate this with basically unlimited amount of images, which is awesome. Then what we can do, we can just click on certain image like this and press space and it will bring the image to the full screen size. Also, we, we can just um, change the size of this screen, which is pretty easy and awesome. And also we can go to full screen by pressing Control or Command F and then press space and it will bring again image to full size. As you can see, it's really easy and simple. I will go back to window mode. And now if I press and hold right mouse button, I can move this window with the left mouse button. I can move uh, separately every single image or group of images that I want to select. So now if I select just these images right there and actually I want to select these and move them as one group and then this is another group. Maybe these are images from a second folder and these are images from my third folder. And this is awesome because now I don't need to go through my folders and search for certain images and open them in any uh, software for viewing images uh, like uh, ACDC or Stoneviewer or whatever. So I can go really easily here and I say, I want this image, puff, it's here. I want this image, puff, it's here. It's really easy and simple. And also I can select a few of them, right click, go to canvas actually to images arrange and optimize and we can now optimize them as a group like others are and also I can notate whatever I want in every single image or just as a group here so I can go right here press control or command N and just say this is group number three okay then I can move this I can change the font if I want change the color see whatever it's pretty easy and simple then i can go here control or command and group number two and so on and so forth it's really easy you can make this bigger or smaller if you want to just uh, set something to certain image or on the image however you want this is an awesome way to do it so i will make it bigger because this is an 
the text for the group and so on and so forth. Another thing that you can do here is awesome thing is that you can manipulate the images in a certain way where you can click and choose an image, then you can press and hold control, alt or command option on a Mac and just make image bigger or smaller. Maybe you want this image to be bigger uh, from the rest of them because it's more important as the idea or concept that you want to create and maybe you want this one too. So again, make it bigger and then you can rearrange them again, select them, right click, images, arrange and you can arrange by name addition but I want to optimize them so optimal and then it will group them like all others and just make those two bigger so a lot of cool things also what you can do which is really important in a lot of uh, photo manipulation work is to make everything black and white so you can just right click go to canvas and grayscale and everything is now black and white so you can just see the luminosity value of the images which is sometimes so important. There is a keyboard shortcut, you can do that like with a keyboard shortcut too. Also one really, really cool thing is that you can just click on the image, press control and shift, and then you can rotate the image in case you need to do it, you can do it here. You don't need to go to Photoshop. Also you can mirror the image or flip it horizontally and vertically by pressing shift and alt or shift on option on a Mac and just, just move on a certain side and click and you can just mirror the image. This is again really important, uh, especially when you're doing composites, photo manipulation, you want some from time to time to flip the image to see if everything fits together nicely, uh, the size of the object and, and so on and so forth. Because when you look in just one orientation, you'll get used to things and when you flip it around, then you can see mistakes a little bit better. What you can do here also you can really easily crop the images, which is awesome too. You don't need to go to Photoshop, crop them and bring them back here. So you can maybe zoom to certain image, this one, and you want to crop the planet. Just press and hold C on a keyboard and just crop it like this. You need first to select the image you want to crop. So C, press and hold, and this is it, just the planet. You can make the planet bigger, as you can see, and have this as an image. Also, you can redo the crop by pressing Shift, Control, C, and it's back on the size uh, on the crop value as it was. You can make it smaller and put it back in or do whatever you want. So this is really, really cool. Also, if you right click and go to settings, there are a bunch of tools here. I will not go through them because this is just a short, short review of the software that I really love. You can go to preference, colors with the colors. You can go to light mode. You can go to dark or glass mode. So this is transparent. So this is pretty cool. You have this completely transparent and this can be really handy in a lot of different situations. Also, I want dark and love dark mode, so I will go there. Also, you have the keyboards, uh, short keyboard shortcuts here, so you can check all of them. There are a bunch of them included. Okay, another really cool example how you can use these images is maybe you want to go to Photoshop, go to PureRef, and now you can create a new document. I will go just with a new document like this, it doesn't matter, and go back to PureRef and right click and say, I want my window to be always on top. So this is it. Now the pure ref is always on top no matter what we are doing in Photoshop. And maybe I want to trace the cat. Maybe I want to have the cat. I just want to bring this, the window size like this. And I just want to see the cat and to copy the cat on the screen right here. And for that, I can press control and minus or plus to change the opacity of the window. So this is pretty cool. Also, if I don't want to see the cat, maybe I want something else, I can really easily move that. But for this example, let's say we want the cat, we can create a new layer right here in Photoshop and just use a brush and just trace a cat. But if we can do here, but if we start on the window, we are basically moving the window, but there is really cool trick for that. You need to press control or command T and then uh, the mouse will basically be ignored. You can press OK and now you can just go here and directly trace the cat. This is just a rough example. If you want to do something like this, I'm doing this with the mouse and it's a pretty sloppy job, but you got a point. You can really easily copy some things and maybe turn it into comic art or whatever. This is a really cool idea. If you got, want to go back and use the pure ref, you need to go uh, down to the icon to the pure ref again, control command T and now you can use it normally. This is the outline of the cat. This is pretty cool. Let's bring back control and plus bring back to 100% opacity. Also another cool way how you can use that is let me really quickly show you that you can make your 
uh, storyboard or however you want to call it and you can save it for later so right click save and save that or export it and there are several different ways we can, you can do just go and explore it but you can load something that you did before so I can load my sci-fi city so I don't want to save this and uh, as you can see here are some ideas that I use for making a sci-fi city and uh, this comes really really handy I will go to my cinema 4d and as you can see I have the sci-fi city that I model on the Mars I didn't finish this project yet because I I have so many other things to do but it's really cool because I can put this window somewhere here so let's move it here make it smaller and when I'm modeling something so I have as you can see this as a reference for my cities and especially I use this and this image for the reference because under the ground as you can see there is another part of the city that looks similar like this and uh, it's really really simple and easy to do that also when you're modeling you can overlay it in the front or side view again lower the opacity and just model uh, over the top of that to remodel something also in ZBrush and there are several applications where you can use a PureRef really really easily and uh, just move across the images and do some really really cool things. So as you can see PureRef is an amazing piece of software where you can gather all the images for your projects and just put a bunch of different images like like this. Let me show you really quickly. I will go hide this, go to my browser, go to Pinterest for example, I want to find some inspiration on Pinterest and uh, I just want to create a new, I just want a new scene, I don't want to save this and now it's an empty window and maybe I want to create some kind of photo manipulation or 3D art with uh, some cyber girl or whatever, I can just go here, drag and drop images, okay this is one, then maybe I scroll down, I like this one, so I will drop this one here, then this one and I can just drop whatever I like as a reference or an idea for my future work and then when I'm happy with this I can go to full screen why not and select everything right click images arrange optimal and now I can go back to 100% opacity and now I have all of these let's go back to full screen I have all of these images here and I can separate them do whatever I want with them see aha uh -huh, I want maybe to model something similar of that and uh, I want to maybe uh, get some ideas from this costume or whatever I have my storyboard full of ideas in one place which is really really awesome so guys I'm really curious if you ever heard about the pure app before and have you ever used it if you did please let me know down there in the comment section below what do you think about the software and for what are you using mostly for me this is one of my favorite piece of softwares out there. Alright guys, so that's it for today. Now go and download your copy of uh, PureRef and enjoy using it. Also, you can leave the comment down there in the description what you want to see from me in the future, what kind of Photoshop tutorial, photo manipulation and so on and so forth. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.